The fourth man did not appear in the fire, but the fourth man was always with them. When they were making their decision, the fourth man was there with them. It's just that the fourth man has a tendency of revealing himself in situations that are impossible before the eyes of men. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the book of Daniel chapter 3 the Bible says when they were brought before Nebuchadnezzar remember Nebuchadnezzar had built a statue remember that and he said people should bow to that statue you remember that in your Bible so in the book of Daniel chapter 3 the Bible says and Shadrach Meshach and Abednego these three Hebrew young boys they refused to bow down to that statue that Nebuchadnezzar himself had built or constructed and as they refused the bible says and these three hebrew boys said to the king oh king we shall not bow and the king said no problem because i've known you for a long time i wanted to actually you know uh, I help you guys but i see that you guys are stubborn make the fire seven times the king in his mind he thought by him saying make the fire seven times hotter he will actually bring fear in these three hebrew boys but these three hebrew boys had knowledge but this was not just your normal knowledge but this was knowledge of their god so when the king said seven times water i can imagine shadrach in my spirit telling meshach and abednego that number seven is a number of perfection number seven is the number of god are you still there number seven is a number of completion is a number of rests are you hearing what i'm saying and they looked at the king they said oh king our god do you see that now our god not even us but our god shall deliver us there even if he does not deliver us we shall not conclude he could not do it we shall conclude he did not want to do it but to bow we will not bow he says, they say, they say, we shall not bow. And the king threw them. Hear me. I'm about to pin something here. And when they were in the fire, the Bible then says, and the king Nebuchadnezzar saw the fourth man. And as he saw the fourth man, he went back to the people who actually remember the people that throw threw them inside the Bible says before while it's, do you know there are people who died while he's throwing them in the same fire consumed them while they were not thrown inside by being close to the fire fire consumed them fire devoured them fire destroyed them now the king from far goes back and he says wait a minute the people that reported these boys how many people did we put in there they said we put only three boys the king said wait a minute i did not skip school one two three four he went back and said how many people did we put in there they said oh king we put three boys the king went back one two three four he said wait a minute i see a fourth man and the fourth man looks like the son of god watch this now i want you to understand that the bible says and the fourth man that nebuchadnezzar was talking about said he said himself about the man he looks like the son of god watch this now here's the mystery kindly say tell me the mystery apostle you see the mystery here is that the fourth man did not appear in the fire But the fourth man was always with them. Listen to this. Listen to this. 
the fourth man did not appear in the fire when they were making their decision the fourth man was there with them it's just that the fourth man has a tendency of revealing himself in situations that are impossible before the eyes of men so when they were making their choice the fourth man was with them when they threw them in the fire but notice if you may like i told you before the three hebrew boys according to the bible they were walking around the fire what was meant to consume them what was meant to destroy them was massaging them and they were moving like nothing was happening watch this now the ones outside i want to encourage somebody here could see the fourth man but the three hebrew boys could not see the fourth man but the one who were outside could see the fourth man but the one who were in the fire could not see the fourth man but the ones who were outside who threw them in there could see believe it or not they can see your god they can see your god because they know if god was not with you you would have died a long time ago what they have said about you they know it will have came to pass but still it has not come to pass and it shall never come to pass because you are never alone you are never alone you are never alone even in a situation that looks difficult if you were to interview demons if you were to interview satan if you were to interview witches and wizards and devil worshippers they will tell you that you are never are you hearing what i'm saying how do i know because you're saying apostle you taught us that scripture interprets scripture but how do you know apostle that the fourth man was with them can you prove it using scripture that the fourth man was with them before they even went inside i will prove it using scripture isaiah 4 3 please verses 2 1 2 3 uh -huh. when you pass through the waters i will be with you and through the rivers they shall not overflow you uh -huh. when you walk, walk through what the, the fire you shall not what you shall not be burned uh -huh. no shall the flames no shall the flames scorch you so you see now before they went inside the fourth man was right there right there with them pat yourself on your chest and say i'm never alone you just announced right now to the to the kingdom of darkness that whatever they want to bring it let them bring it on but you are never alone the devil is a lie so why was the fourth man with them because in matthew 28 verse 20 he promised he said lo i shall be with you always <laughs> 